Yes guys and welcome back to a brand new video guys and in today's video guys we are going to be reacting to my Premier League predictions. Before I start today's video guys I just want to say a big congratulations to Man City of winning the league. They've smashed it all season. They could potentially do the treble this weekend against Chelsea in the Champions League. Can they do it? I think they've got a chance. To be honest I've got a feeling that they might even smash Chelsea to be honest but we'll find out. We'll see what happens there in the Champions League final over the next couple of days. Looking forward to it. Obviously United are playing in the Europa League tomorrow against Villarreal. We've got our chance to get some silverware and take it back to Manchester. Looking forward to that game tomorrow. Massive game tomorrow as well for us and I'll be watching that as well. Without further ado guys let's get in straight today's video. So I'm first going to start off from the Rally zone up towards the top of the table anyway guys let's get into it right away 20th i predicted fulham now obviously fulham did not come 20th it was actually sheffield united now actually sheffield united have struggled this season massively second syndrome season didn't expect it to be honest i expected sheffield to do much better than that i had them much higher up and i completely got this one wrong with sheffield chris wilder was in charge things didn't go right there for sheffield and then chris wilder thought they needed a change Needed a new manager in the dressing room. Didn't really work out. Obviously, Sheffield United they won a couple of games occasionally here and there. Got a good win against Burnley last game of the season. Fortunately, it's just not worked out for Sheffield this season. They're so going straight back to the Championship. Enjoy it, and hopefully, you can come back up next season. Coming 19th, I predicted Aston Villa. Now, this is another one that I completely got wrong as well. Coming 19th, it was actually West Brom. Now, actually, West Brom, I thought they would survive, to be honest. Obviously, with under Savin Bilic, I thought they did quite well. And then, obviously, sacking him, I think, was the wrong thing to do. You know, I remember when they sacked him. They drew 1-1 one, one to Man City, got a positive result, and then they sacked him. And then they brought in Big Sam. Big Sam didn't do enough to keep them up, unfortunately. Obviously, he came out the other day, and he was backing down as well as West Brom's manager. Disappointing that Big Sam's not going to stay as their manager and bring them back up next season, but... Unfortunately, West Brom are going back to the Championship. I didn't expect them to go down. Once again, I thought they were going to stay up, but got it wrong as well myself. Coming 18th, I predicted West Ham. Now, West Ham, I'll get onto later. Yeah, obviously, coming 18th was not West Ham. It was Fulham. Out of one of the three teams that came up, I predicted Fulham were going to go straight back down. So, I was pretty close with this one. But Fulham finished 18th, and I predicted them to come 20th. So, I wasn't far off that one, to be honest. I knew that they would go straight back down to the Championship. They just didn't have enough Fulham under Scott Parker. Just didn't have enough to stay up. And, obviously, lost too many games. Going back to the Championship, but once again... Can they come back up? I think they can. They've got the squad to do it. But most of their signings were loan deals. They'll probably most likely go back to their team as well. Like Ariola going back to PSG. Loftus Cheek going back to Chelsea. You can't really see it happening. But I wish Scott Parker all the best back in the Championship. And I think they'll probably come back up anyway next season. Coming 17th, I predicted Brighton. And actually, coming 17th, it was Burnley. Burnley, surprisingly, I thought they would do much better than that. I thought, try to get mid-table. Obviously, they got dragged into another... A relegation scrap as well. Burnley, the shocked us as well. And obviously we saw some shock results this season with them beating Liverpool at Anfield as well. I think they got some good, decent results. They only just did enough to stay up for another season. Sean Dyche should be very satisfied with how they finished in the end. Not the position they don't want to be. I think it was two years ago they were in the bloody Europa League and now back-to-back -back seasons they finished in the uh, bottom half of the table. So they do need to improve next season, Burnley. It's one of them at the end of the day. Coming 16th, I predicted Crystal Palace. Coming 16th, it was actually Brighton. I was quite close with Brighton. I think Brighton, I think they've had another decent season under Graham Potter. Obviously got a good win against Man City the other day as well. I knew they would finish just outside the relegation zone. Really close with this prediction. I think Brighton have had an OK season. They do need the recruitment in the summer. And they do sort of struggle to score goals here and there. Defensively not good enough as well. Brighton have had a, an OK season. I knew that they would finish around about 16th, 17th position. They survived again for another season and they keep staying up as well. They've done all right for themselves this season as well. Coming 15th, I predicted West Brom. Obviously, back to the Championship, they go. Coming 15th, it was Southampton. Now, obviously, Southampton, they're one of those teams, to be honest, where they have a decent start to the season. They lost 9-0 to Manchester United and since they lost 9-0 to Manchester United, they just completely capitulated. It mentally got to them. They couldn't really bounce back. They were really struggling for the results. They couldn't win games. It just came too little too late for Southampton. They were picking up points just towards the end of the season against teams like Burnley and Fuller, stuff like that. Too little too late for Southampton, unfortunately. They finished the season off strongly. They're one of those teams. I do sort of consider whether Ralph should be on for another season. I don't think he's the man 
taking them forward because that's back-to-back -back season style where they've lost games 9-0. Uh, obviously lost at St Mary's 9-0 and lost to us 9-0 at Old Trafford. I do sort of put a question mark on Ralph's name if he should be the right man for Southampton because that's two seasons now that they finished in the bottom half of the table as well. Southampton, they're a weird team. Not had another good season, but they need to improve though. Obviously, like I obviously said about a year ago, that you know they keep selling their best players. They need to bring in the recruitment in the summer and they need to be backed. And Ralph needs to be backed if he wants to stay on as manager as well. They're one of those teams, Southampton. They're in the Premier League for next season as well, and well done to Southampton. Coming 14th, I predicted Leeds United. Coming 14th, it was actually Crystal Palace. I got this not far off, predicted Palace to come 16th, and they just finished two places above that. They did really well, Palace, to be honest. Obviously, they lost the last two games of the season. But Roy Hodgson's leaving Crystal Palace, and he wanted to win the last game against Arsenal at home. Obviously, they lost the last two games. It was a tough run in to the end of the season. Goodbye, Roy. You'll be missed. Frank Lampard could be Crystal Palace's next manager. I think they're looking to probably have a clear out and bring in a young squad in. I think that's what they're looking to do, bring down the average age as well. I think their average age in the squad's like mid-30s and I think they're trying to work of try and get that down as well. I think they want to have a major summer, bring in some new faces in. You want to bring in more players like Eze, to be honest, as Zaha as well. Those type of players as well. Coming 13th, I predicted Burnley. Coming 13th, it was actually Wolves. Wolves have had a terrible season, to be honest. They've not had a great season under Nuno Espirito Santo. Another manager that's leaving as well. I wish him the best of luck for the future. I thought he was a good manager for Wolves, to be honest. I think Wolves have not had a good season, though, this year. I expected them to push for Europe for next season as well, but unfortunately, Wolves have not had a great season. Struggle to score goals defensively, not that good enough as well. Just one of those seasons for Wolves. Obviously, they lost Raw Jimenez in January, so they really struggled for goals. They brought in William Jose, didn't really work out there for Wolves. So it's unfortunate for Wolves, but they've not had a great season, to be honest. And we obviously beat them in the last game of the season. 2-1, satisfied with that as well. Wolves have not had a great season, to be honest, and they do need to improve under the next manager as well. But looking forward to Wolves' journey next season under the new manager. Let's see what impact he's going to make as well to the Wolves team. Funny enough, they're bringing in another Portuguese manager as well. Coming 12th, I predicted Newcastle. And who actually finished 12th? It was Newcastle, and this prediction, I got it absolutely bang on correct. Newcastle, obviously, they were dragged into a relegation scrap, and they've done really well. I think since after that international break that they had, they really got together. They had to sort things out. Obviously, they had a massive outbreak in their camp as well. A load of players were missing out due to COVID. So they were struggling with players. Callum Wilson got injured as well. They rely on Callum Wilson a lot for the goals. Newcastle have had a decent season. I knew that they would finish 12th. I got this prediction absolutely bang on correct. Got some surprising good results. Got a draw at Anfield. Beat some good, decent teams, to be honest. It's unfortunate they couldn't beat us. Coming 11th, I predicted Sheffield United. Coming 11th, it was Aston Villa. And obviously, Aston Villa have absolutely proved me wrong this season as well. I think they've had a decent season, Aston Villa. At one stage, they were battling for top four, but sort of slipped back a little bit. But I think Dean Smith's had a, another decent season. Obviously, I did predict them get relegated this year. That was because of their defence, but they sorted out their defensive woes. John Terry as their defensive coach, sorted it out. But I thought they've had a, another decent season. Dropped off a little bit towards the end of the season, but they've had a decent season. They can hold their heads up high and say, you know, we've had a very good season. Hopefully we can push on for Europe next season. Coming 10th, I predicted Southampton, but coming 10th, it was actually Everton. Everton have not had a good season for me, unfortunately. Very inconsistent this season, to be honest. They had a decent start to the season. Dropped off, had another decent run, dropped off, so very inconsistent under Carlo Angelotti. Again, they should have been pushing for Europe as well and they failed to do that. It's just disappointing for Everton, to be honest. Very inconsistent. Could that be down to complacency? Sometimes the Everton players need to look at themselves, wake up a bit because they made too many mistakes, gave away goals too easily. They just need to learn to be to get better as a team, play more as a unit as well. But Everton, not a good season for them, unfortunately, finishing mid-table. Thought they would be getting that Europa League spot, but they're not finishing 10th. They'll be sticking to one game a week. Coming ninth, I predicted Leicester City. Actually, coming ninth, it was Leeds United. I knew Leeds United would have had a decent season back to the Premiership. I knew they would. I predicted them to come 14th, and they did very well in the first season back in the Premiership. Big congratulations to Leeds United. They've had a very decent season back to the Premier League. They've done really well for themselves under Marcelo Bielsa. Had a very good season. Finishing ninth as well. Mid-table, fantastic for them. They've had a great season. Not one of the big six beat them at Ellen Road, so it's a tough place to go. And it's going to be a tough place to go next season 
with the fans back in the stadium, so that's going to be even tougher. 16 years in the making for us as well, but Leeds have had a very decent season back to the Premier League. They've done very well under Bielsa. I knew they would do very well back to the Premier League. They've done themselves proud. They'll go again next season, hopefully push for Europe as well next season. There's going to be a load of teams going in for Europa League next season. Love to see Leeds up there as well. Coming eighth, I predicted Wolves. Obviously, coming eighth, it was actually Arsenal. Arsenal just missed out on this Conference League for next season. But to be honest, Arsenal have not been that great either. To be honest, again, it's another manager that I have to put a question mark on. Is Mikel Arteta the right man for this job? They should have been in the final against us tomorrow night. If I was Arsenal fans, you do sort of think Mikel Arteta could be the right man going forward. He needs the right players in. But the thing is, you've got to think, well... Who's going to sign for you? You're a mid-table club now. Most of your fans don't consider you as a big six club anymore. Even your rivals finished above you this season. Arsenal, I think it'll do them right to not to play in Europe next season. One game a week for them. Very disappointing season for Arsenal. I think they lost about 13, 14 games. That's not good enough. I'd be putting my question marks on Mikel Arteta. I think he's lucky to be in the job still, definitely for sure. I think you need to get rid of your owners as well. Arsenal have had a very disappointing season. One game a week next year for them. It'll probably do them right as well. Coming seventh, I predicted Everton. Obviously, I wasn't far off that one as well. But obviously, coming seventh, it was actually Tottenham. Tottenham they had a decent start to the season. At one stage, they were at the top of the table as well under Jose Mourinho. And then obviously, Jose Mourinho got sacked by Tottenham with about five, six games to go. And then obviously, Ryan Mason came in as interim manager. Obviously, now could be talk of Roberto Martinez coming in as next manager. Tottenham fans going to prove. I would have thought Nuno Espirito Santo could have been there as well for the job. Allegri could be there as well for the job. They do need a proper manager in next season. I think they need a winner in the team. They need a proper manager in, to be honest. I think finishing seventh was probably about right for Tottenham. Obviously, they've got that Europa Conference League for next year. Looking forward to that one. Harry Kane playing at, at shit grounds, but Harry Kane could be on his way out as well. It's one of them at the end of the day, isn't it? Coming sixth, I predicted Arsenal. Obviously, Arsenal finished Ave. But coming sixth, it was actually West Ham. West Ham have absolutely have had a fantastic season, to be honest. Completely underestimated West Ham this season. Obviously, they got our man Jesse Lingard. What Jesse Lingard walked into West Ham completely changed the team, to be honest. Pushed them on as well. I completely wrote them off. But they've done very well, I think. Obviously, David Moyes has done very well with West Ham. Got Europa League for next season as well. They're going to be playing on Thursday nights as well. They've done fantastically well this season. West Ham completely wrote them off. I predicted them to come 18th as well. Completely wrote me off and completely underestimated them this season. I think without Jesse Lingard, they probably would have finished. Probably mid-table, to be honest, but... They've done very well. At first, they were looking at Champions League football, but I think that was I think that was probably too much for West Ham. I think finish in the Europa League spot is decent for West Ham. They've had a decent season. I think West Ham fans should say, you know, we've had a fucking fantastic season. Congratulations to you because you've done really well this season under David Moyes. Probably right team for David as well. You've done well. West Ham fans definitely wrote me off, underestimated them, and they've done well this season. Coming fifth, I predicted Tottenham wasn't far off that one as well. Coming fifth, it was Leicester City. They bottled it. Bottled FC. That's what they are. Bottled it on the last day of the season. For 37 weeks, they're in the top four, and they've bottled it once again. I think they've had a decent season, though. They've been brilliant as well, Leicester City. Obviously, winning FA Cup was fantastic for them and they're going to be facing Man City at the start of the season and the Community Shield so looking forward to that as well. I think they've had a decent season to be honest. Europa League football for them next season as well. I think they'll be kicking themselves to be honest because they've bottled it once again back to back seasons. They've bottled it. Bottled FC aren't they unfortunately. There you go Leicester City just gets you on the last game of the season. I predicted them to come ninth, but they came fifth. Wasn't far off that prediction as well but Leicester they've done well for themselves. Missed out on Champions League football. Probably was too much for them anyway. And I think they wouldn't have lasted long anyway in the Champions League anyway. Sorry, just had to get it out there. They've had a decent season. I think obviously crashing out in Europa League was not ideal, but got to them. Too many games for them. They put their eggs in one basket, went for the FA Cup and they won it. Congrats of winning that. They've had a decent season. Unfortunate to miss out, but they bottled it at the end of the day. Coming fourth, I predicted Chelsea. And who actually came fourth? It was Chelsea. Got this prediction absolutely bang on right as well. To be honest... I thought Chelsea would finish fourth just because I knew, obviously, with Lampard, wasn't sure if he was the right man for the job. Too big for the job, just didn't have what it takes to be at that top level, unfortunately. And then they brought in Thomas Tuchel, came in, absolutely turned things around at Chelsea, played to his system, players know what they're doing. They've done really well, to be honest, under Tuchel. Under Lampard, they were woeful, they were performing really badly, they were not getting results, and now 
Tuchel's come in, got them to two finals. They're in the Champions League final on Saturday. They got themselves also in the FA Cup, lost that to Leicester with a mistake. But I think they've had another decent season, to be honest. I think Tuchel saved their season. They've done really well, Chelsea. Coming fourth, it'll be good for them. They've got Champions League for next season. Well done to Chelsea. Coming third, I actually predicted Man United. Coming third, it was actually Liverpool. I think Liverpool, it would have been laughable to say that they were not going to get Champions League. It looked like they were not going to get Champions League football. I think they were very lucky to get Champions League football, to be honest. It was not looking like they were going to get it. And then I think the game that really changed it all for Liverpool was that West Brom game. And Alisson saved them, to be honest. I think Man United let them back in the Champions League race. We shouldn't have lost to them. We should have beat them at home. I think it was our game that really gave them that boost, the confidence of getting back into the Champions League. And then if they would have drew to West Brom, they probably wouldn't have got Champions League football. But we're very lucky to get Champions League football for next season. When second, I actually predicted Liverpool. Wasn't far off that prediction. Coming second was obviously Man United. I'm pleased with that prediction. It was just one off. I think we've had a decent season, to be honest. Finishing third last season, finishing second again. Champions League football for next season as well for Man United. I'm pleased with the season that we've had. Obviously finishing second, got the runners-up prize. Came second, finished above Liverpool. I think we've had a great season, to be honest. Just need that silverware now tomorrow night. I think if we win tomorrow... Win the Europa League, I think we've had a decent season. I think we've had a great season if we win the Europa League tomorrow. Looking forward to that game tomorrow. But overall, we've had a decent season. Great season, in fact. Getting second. Hopefully, we can challenge Man City next season. For first, just one of them. Coming first, I predicted Man City. Man City won the league. I got this prediction bang on as well. I'm happy with my prediction. This year, got three right. It's difficult to predict as well. City have done really well obviously they went on that good run of form not like at one stage Pep was probably not going to be in a job next season I think they've had a great season they, they were fantastic deserve it to be honest well deserved obviously the neighbours have won it once again I think that's the fifth now for them so they've done really well they've done fantastic had a fantastic season by winning the Carabao Cup winning the league in the Champions League final but let's see what they can do against Chelsea but I think they've had a tremendous season City uh, so we can take the fight to the next season and it's not only just going to be us battling for Man City I think Liverpool are going to improve they're going to have a better team Chelsea they'll go again as well it's going to be interesting of how the season turns out next year that's it I've done really well with my predictions I'm satisfied as well there was a couple where I was miles off but there was a few where I was nearly got them bang on right but I'm satisfied with my predictions I've done really well I'm pleased Massive congratulations to Man City of winning the league. We're coming for you next season. 21 is coming. It's one of them. We'll take it on the chin. Hope you guys have enjoyed another video. Be sure to leave a like. Subscribe to my channel if you want new. And I'll see you guys in the video in the next couple of days. And peace.